I'm gonna keep it in the video. I'm gonna keep it in the video. All right, we got our makeshift bench over here. Yeah, so we're about to take photos. Mm -hmm. photos. <laughs> all right. Senior photos. Take it what? Like senior, senior class. Senior <laughs> um, all right, guys. So we just finished a workout. So this is the, I don't know if I'm gonna make the Q&A first come out or the workout first. I don't know. So whatever, you might be watching the second or first. Um, but I am back with Kelly. Follow her right here. Don't say it. <laughs> I'm not making the same mistake you, twice. Thank you. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right. So what I did was, uh, oh, okay. So what I did was I asked Instagram and Kelly didn't put her box on top of my box like I told her to. Yeah. So That was my fault. So um, I asked Instagram yesterday and tagged Kelly. Kelly was supposed to share it and put her question box on top of mine, but she didn't. She shared it and told all her people to go to my page, but most people are lazy. That's yeah, two steps. That was my fault. But again, That's two this steps. Is like my first, they need know, one step. Video, like, you know. Tap a box. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proficient in the social media ways right now. Okay? And we talked I'll about how there. much Kelly loves I'll get there. influencers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll All get right. there one day, maybe. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to my stories, and we're going to answer, she's going to answer my questions. Okay. Um, so where is it? Here it is. Here's my box. <laughs> okay. All right. So, nope, not going to ask that one. Not going to ask that oh, Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. There are some questions that... Whatever. I think these mostly pertain to you. Yes. But. So somebody keeps asking me in every video that I do with Victoria if they'll arm wrestle me, and I always tell them no. So no to that person. Can we arm wrestle? Okay. No. I don't, don't want to take that. I don't want to. Yeah, but I'll hurt a boo. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, no. Get to that one. Uh, are you always looking this good? That one was for you. <laughs> are you always looking this good, Kelly? Oh, that's a, that's very nice. Um, hey, say thank I you. Think so thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I she don't does. Know. <laughs> she does always look this good. Okay, are you single or married? I am definitely not single. I am actually with Andy, who is Jen's coach. And so, kind of yours. Yeah, and my ish. coach too. So he's my boyfriend slash coach. Slash. Slash. Lives with you. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. He's my, my boyfriend. <laughs> We do live together, so they cohabitate. Yeah, we cohabitate. Is no. that what is that? What is that called? Um, that's called a thing. That's a, what, a domestic partnership. No. no, we're very much together, um, and we live together, and he trains me, and yeah. Okay, and I am not single, not married, but will marry this man, and he, in a week and a half, will be living with me. So yeah, sorry. Sorry. Okay. How does stretching factor into your workouts? I'm really bad at stretching. You can answer that one. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell so, you about what I do. Yeah. So really I think short. a lot of people really neglect that because it's like, you know, not as fun. It's kind of like boring, I guess. But um, for me, I always incorporate, I do like a yoga class once a week. Before training, I will do some kind of like dynamic warm up. Um, and I, don't, I try not to do any kind of like static stretching before, but afterwards I will. Also, what I find is if you don't have like, you know, enough time, like when you're just doing whatever, you could sit in like the 90-90 position, open up your hips, you know, when you're just kind of, if you have like a couple minutes to just do a little something, I think that's good to do just kind of throughout the day and just keep yourself moving, especially on your rest days. Rest days, I think, are really important to we'll focus on mobility because um, if you're not, you know, mobile and, and having that muscle, you know, pliable and everything, you're way more prone to injury, which is gonna suck for your lift. So you have to incorporate it. It doesn't have to be a lot, but I feel like some definitely needs to be in there. Yeah, so you said that you do yoga. Do you go to a, a location or do you yeah. do it at your house? Yeah, so I go to a location. I, I really enjoy this um, like hot yoga class. I was just I'll gonna go ask to. if it was hot, hot yeah, yoga. Yeah, I like hot yoga because um, I just feel like I get deeper into the stretch and it's just, it's just something fun for me to do. Also, I will say, um, a lot of the movements that we do is like very full range. So like on the leg press, I feel like I'm getting a pretty good stretch. Because doing that of because the of yoga. Full range. Yeah. Okay. And so even just in my lifts, I'm getting some, some stretch in my muscles too. So I'm making her answer this because I don't do any of it. So I'm gonna ask you another question of it. When you say a dynamic warm-up, I agree, I don't believe in stretching before the workout. So is it like Let's just say if you're gonna do legs, do you do like a warm up set of walking lunges or like yeah. weight shifting, like lunge or whatnot? Yeah. Or like I saw you go into like a deep squat right before you went on the leg press. Yeah. So is that your version of it? Yeah, so definitely, especially if I have like a good amount of time, like 10, 15 minutes, I will do some kind of like walking lunge, like really emphasizing like the stretch. 
So it's not, I'm not trying to like, you know, build muscle in that time. I'm trying to like actually get into the lunge, really stretch, open up my hips. I'll do Warm a lot up of the, the joints and stuff. Exactly. I'll do like the side to side, you know, dynamic walking lunges. You know what I'm talking about? Like, or like the weight shift lunges? Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. Um, I'll sit into a squat and kind of like move around. Um, I'll try to open up my hips a lot. A lot of 90-90, a lot of like the windshield wipers with the knees. Um, yeah, I just try to do a lot of that. Open up my hips, you know, all that kind of stuff. And yeah. So do it really, like that. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you do yeah. it like that. <laughs> it's really, really important to do because you know, mobility is, is everything, especially when it comes to longevity in this. You'll see a lot of people that are very like muscle bound and like have no mobility and you don't want to be like that. She's so. talking about her boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> subtle subtle and plug to Andy, but he's, he's been doing a lot better with trying to be more, you know, getting with his mobility, but if you really focus on it before it gets to that point, yeah. then you're never gonna have like those like crazy like injuries where you can't lift your arm. You She's know? talking about him right now too. Um, and speaking of uh, some of the cues that she was giving, like doing it, like she, we, we were giving him advice one day talking about while he was training a client to just sit on the floor and stretch his quads or yeah. whatever. Like even if you're just sitting here and somebody's about to do a set or on their, they're resting, you could just grab onto your leg and stretch your quads. Yeah. So it, literally if you're at your desk, there's a way that you could do it. In between, you could go down and like stretch your lower back. So there's yeah. a lot of little different places. I, I actually, on that same day, I was training like five people at one time in my studio and then I did like a story and mm -hmm. I was sitting on my knees and then I was like, look Andy, I'm multitasking. Yeah, yeah and it doesn't have to be this big whole thing. It could literally be like a couple minutes yeah, here throughout and your day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think that's really important. Okay. I'm pretty sure this was meant for you because I don't think this, but people have said it to me. Your skin is amazing, what's your secret? Oh my God, so, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell you what my secret is. I'm I helped you though, remember a long time ago? You yeah, but I haven't done it. Oh. So, so, I'm gonna tell you guys all God's honest truth. I did not wash my face until I was 35 years old. Oh my God. Swear to God, my sister used to get mad at me because she was one of those, she had bad skin, had to use proactive, and I never, never even washed. I would go to bed with concealer on. It would be all over my pillow. I would wake up and just reapply on top. Oh. Then my sister's like, you are disgusting. You need to start washing your face. So from 35 until now, 46, I do Neutrogena wipes, and that's it. Oh my God. I don't, I don't clean. And I, I now get facials once every, from LV, um, LV Perfection Med Spa. I'm a sponsored athlete there. Drop, your, drop my name and you can get a discount. Um, and I get facials like once every six weeks maybe. And we talked about how I don't do anything. So then I asked them, if I only have like my budget to buy one thing, should I buy like a lotion, a cleanser? And they told me to buy a lotion. So in the morning, I, I, yeah. I still do the Neutrogena wipes. At night, I do the Neutrogena wipes. Don't wash my face with soap. And then I put on cream and put my concealer back on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Don't, don't do follow that. that. Okay, don't so you tell that. them your skin. Because this one looks like she's 12. Oh, thank you. You do. <laughs> she's got 12 year old skin okay so first things first i think you have to make sure that you like dive deep into like what's going on internally first because it doesn't matter what creams or whatever you put on your face it's going to depend on your diet that's huge um are you drinking enough water are you getting enough sleep um those things are going to be very crucial also if you're you know dealing with any kind of like hormonal issues things like that like that really is going to get to the the bottom of it because obviously whenever you have any kind of breakouts it's from something internally kind of purging outwards most of the time. So you gotta really focus on the inside first, but I will say um, skincare wise, it's like one of my favorite things ever. So uh, <laughs> I definitely advise you to cleanse your skin, please. <laughs> please take off your Wait, makeup. Wait, let me just cut you please. off real quick. So I partly think that the reason why is because I've been eating clean since I was like 19 years old yeah, totally. because of my medical condition. So like, I, I didn't think to say that, but yes, I mean, a lot of the times when Your I have clients write their positives, so they yeah. say within the first week of them following a nutrition plan, they notice that their skin is clearer. Yes. So part of the reason why I haven't had skin problems and my, my sister eat, used to eat garbage all the time. Like it'll, I've been following a diet for yeah. 27, 28 years because of my Crohn's and colitis. Okay, get back to your skincare. Yeah, routine. no, that's that's so huge. Like, yeah. if you're eating crappy, it's gonna show on your skin most of the time. You might have those one-off people who can eat whatever they want and their skin looks great, but most of the time, that's a big thing. Right, but also, it. just um, cleanse your skin at night. I do like a double cleanse, and then um, I'll do my serums, especially in Vegas. It's so dry, 
So you want to use a really good like um, night cream moisturizer. What do you use? So I honestly, I stopped using a bunch of like the fancy stuff. I don't feel like it did anything for my skin. I actually love the Cetaphil. I was just gonna say um, if that's they, the one. They came out with a new like peptide night cream and it's super affordable. You get it at the drugstore and it is so nice. It's nicer than all my like other ones that I've bought before. So I definitely have like my couple steps, but I probably do like three or four things at night and then in the morning, I always do, oh, and I use retinol at night. That's huge. Um, and then in the mornings, I'll do, you know, my vitamin C and a good moisturizer and SPF. So please, when you say for vitamin C, God, put on SPF. So please. when you say vitamin C, do you physically have like vitamin C that you put on your skin or vitamin C pills? No, it's a, it's a vitamin C serum. Oh. Yeah, so vitamin C is really great for your skin as well. So um, I put that on in the mornings and then I'll do my moisturizer and then my SPF. Should I have her send me all this? Yeah. Links directly so really, to you don't need like a crazy, Yeah, you don't need like a crazy long skincare thing. I do like three things at night and then three, three things in the, in the day. And then every three once in a while, I'll do like a mask just for fun. But yeah. Just for fun. Yeah. She's a real party animal. <laughs> on my Friday night, okay? I do, a little, I do a little mask and then I'm in bed by 9 p.m. 845. Okay. Um, how do you manage your, this is not for you, how do you manage your colitis? I think I heard you said that that's what you have um, and I look fire. Is he saying that he looks fire or that I look fire? Because he said you, but then over here he oh, said I. I think he probably means you look. Yeah, but then why did he say you manage and then didn't say I? Okay, well, I'm going to assume. That he meant to say you look fire? you look fire. All right, well, I'm just going to say on what we were just talking about that has to do with skin. I found out that I, I was sick from the age of 19 to 21. I was finally di diagnosed at 21 with Crohn's and colitis. Got my, I, I was on medication for two years, but I was starting to follow some kind of nutrition plan. At 23, I got certified and I did a lot of research. I was like living in the bookstore. Um, I completely cold turkey stopped all the medication that they put me on. That wasn't helping anyway. And I started following a nutrition plan and I've basically been on a diet for, I'm gonna be, I can't believe I'm gonna be 47 this year. Three years away from 50. Oh. Um, but, so basically from 23 to 47, I've been on a diet. I've been on, I've followed the same thing for like 11 years straight, then I switched it up. Um, so nutrition, 100% nutrition. And then I will also say, I read the book, The Four Agreements at the age of 23 and I live my life by it. And the reason why I'm talking about that book is because that book changed the dynamic of how I look at so many things. And the way you deal with stress is it has another like colitis, IBS, irritable bowel, which is the same thing, Crohn's, all of those things. So like, for example, one of the things that the four agreements is never make assumptions, don't take it personal. So let's just say if somebody has road rage and they start honking at me, I can immediately allow that to affect me. Or if somebody leaves a negative comment on my, on my Instagram, I can immediately allow that to affect me. Or I can say, that's their shit. That's not mine. So the way that I handle negativity, stress in my life, I don't take it personal. I don't make assumptions. I always do my best and I'm impeccable to my word. Those are the four agreements. So I live my life in that positivity. I don't allow any negative energy and that linked with nutrition has put me and I've been in remission for 24 years now. 20, I can't math, 20, I don't know. Is that math, 24 years? So that is how I manage it. Okay, that's yeah. not a question for you. Yeah, no, but I think that stress is huge because when you're super stressed out, it, it kind of shows up in all sorts of places. Yeah. You know, digestion, skin, sleep, everything, so. He meant to say you look fire. There we go. <laughs> the next comment is the same person. There we go. Uh, he said, when is your next show? Hi, come say hi to the camera. When is my next show? Never. Kelly, do you think that you will ever do a show? Say hi, Ooh. Jess, you guys saw her in the video. This, the thumbnail is her on the on the leg leg curl. All right, so do you think so, you'll ever do a show? So that's a really good question. So, I mean, I would say like never say never, but to be totally honest, um, I dealt with a lot of like eating issues and like body, you know, dysmorphia, dysmorphia and no feeling, shame. you know, whatever. And I just think right now um, in the space that I'm in, I feel like putting my body on like display, display. to be judged and told that I'm not like This is what's wrong enough. with you, that's what's yeah. wrong with you. So I'm like, I fix don't, that. I don't know if that would be good for like my Anybody, overall really. like, mental health. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know about that part. And then um, I've just always been so much on like the, just, you know, trying to be like super healthy, like be my best self. And I just feel like, 
trying to go to that extreme while I have like all of the respect in the world for competitors because that is insanely hard. Um, I just don't know if that's something that I like would want to do, but I love the training aspect of it and I love like, you know, feeling good and whatever, but I just think where I'm at right now with my like, you know, confidence and everything, I just feel like putting myself on display to be told that I'm like, you know, not good enough or whatever, um, just probably wouldn't be the best thing for me. And that's fine. You know, it's not for everybody. So who knows? I mean, maybe one day I will, but I don't know. And since they asked me the question, um, I'm not competing anymore, basically for that reason. N not because I, I, not because I, well, whatever. <laughs> the reason I don't want to do shows anymore is number one, because I've never done it for the stage. I love dieting and, and I wouldn't even say dieting, but I love following a nutrition plan to the T of whatever it is, whether I planned it or somebody else has planned it, and coming into the gym and seeing what I'm capable of strictly for the process, yeah. not because there's a stage goal. And I don't want somebody telling me what I should look like. I want to look like something that's not meant for any category. So I don't really care about the stage. And as much as Andy really wants me, now that I'm an IFBB pro, really wants me to compete on the pro stage and then say that he's gotten me to the Olympia, which I very much believe that he can, because uh, he is an incredible coach. Yeah. Um, if you are looking for a competition coach, I have literally sent so men, women, children, everybody to Andy. Yeah, um, I mean, he's completely, I mean, you know, he's completely changed my like body and everything. And I'm so happy with the process and everything like that. Um, yeah, I just, I love, I love training and I love like seeing what my body can do. I just think like trying to push it to that next level would probably bring up a lot of stuff that probably wouldn't be the best for me. So that's why I wouldn't do it, but yeah. And then, and then I also great. think it kind of like turns into work. And then you yeah. start like, as soon as I register for a show, I all of a sudden I'm like, I have to go to the gym because I have to for a show instead of because I want to. Yeah. And then it just feels different when I'm driving to the gym. Yeah. Um, the next question was, are you still bulking? Um, yes, I am. It's a very slow bulk. I just came off of a surgery and you are. Yes, I'm actually building. And kind of going back to our, you know, what we were talking about before, like I have always had an, like um, a history of like chronic diet, like trying to diet all the time and like yo-yo dieting and all that stuff. And I finally last year got to a place where we, you know, stopped doing that and we like kind of really let myself rest and like, you know, get my calories up and everything. And then we did, um, you know, a cut um, over summer. And then now we are reversing and we're building and it's fun, it's different. It's like, I actually get to eat more food and I'm like feeling stronger. Like we set some freaking PRs today, which is awesome. So it's like stuff like that, that I feel like really makes me like motivated to come to the gym and, and see my body change. And it's not all about, you know, what the scale says or, what measurements I'm at, or are my legs too big? Is this too small? Like, do I need to work on bringing this down? It's like, it's not about that. It's yeah. just, you know. So yeah, I'm building right now and it's fun. Uh, the next question was, what is my favorite leg day? And I like that they didn't ask me what my favorite day is because they know that I really only do leg days. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna be very honest, I don't know. I love my leg days with Kelly and Andy, love them. I also like my hamstrings day, the hamstring day because I really love on Thursday, that's my day where I try to hit a PR with my RDLs, which I won't be able to do for a little bit because I have to hold on to a barbell. And technically, my RDL, my, my RDL PR is like 315, um, and I cannot hold that right now. Then I love my Fridays because it's a little taste of quads and then heavy glutes. And then I love my Sundays because it's just like a whole shitstorm of stuff. So I love it all. I can't pick a favorite. What's your favorite? She's got three to choose from. What's your favorite leg day? That's really hard too. I love quads because it's so challenging and like just the energy in, in the workout is so good and it pushes me harder than I would ever push myself. So I love that. Obviously, you know, like everyone, I love like my glute days because I that's my main focus right now is just building up my glutes. So I love those days. Um, yeah, that's really tough to, to say. I think they both have their their place. But you have three days. You said both. Yeah, so the other one I like too, but um, I don't know. There's just something about like being like it trained but with somewhere training with people. Like when I'm by myself, it's still fun, but it's not like as fun as like, you know, training with with people. So I like those two days the best for sure. Yeah, I'll be honest, um, my almost my whole life from the age of sixteen, I've never really had gym partners. And yeah. then from like 23 when I first started being a, a, a coach, 
I trained by myself up until five years ago. I did my first like workout really with a partner besides the couple times I worked out with my ex-husband. And then I worked out with this girl, Kristen, from Blackstone Labs, and I had, I've had i never pushed myself as hard as I did when I was with her. And then I moved to Vegas shortly after that, and then I just started having all this family that's here, and then now I work out, and then on the days that like I don't have anybody to film with or work out with, I'm like depressed. Like I don't, yeah. like, of course I can push myself, but I just, I love. It's not the same. Yeah. I, like I've always been such like alone, like I, I like to work out by myself. I don't like to work out with friends because it's not as like intense. But it wasn't until I started training here, and like we started, tra like we started training. Andy would train me and everything. Then I was like, okay, I really like this. Yeah. So for me, I like to be like pushed, and I like, I like to train with someone who's stronger than me and like can push me and like, you know, because I'm competitive as well. So like, I want to push to be better too. So I think it's all about who you are like with. Yeah. And that kind of brings the energy too, because you don't want to be like. You know, sometimes you get like a workout partner who's like not like super into it and you feel like you're just training them. And as I was a personal trainer, so like, I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm having to run the session. Do you know what I mean? And that's kind of like what I said for years. I said, I don't know if I would like working out with somebody really because it's like, what if they're in a bad mood? Then I got to bring up the intensity to get them in a good mood. And then what if they're in a better mood than me? Then I got to bring up my intensity to match theirs. So yeah, like, I just like, don't want to worry about anybody's energy. Yeah, and it's like, what are you supposed to like work out? Do you want to run the workout? Or like, are you supposed right. to run the workout? Or are we supposed to like, what are we doing? But now it's like, <laughs> it's fun and we each feed off of each other. And yeah, sometimes she'll like, she picks today's kind of cycle. And then next time, you know, obviously next time Andy will pick it, but. Yeah. It, that's kind of nice too. I like. I just show up and I'm like, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I've, I've been training with Andy. January third will be three years that I've been training with him, and then February seventeenth. I know the dates will be two years that he's been doing my nutrition. Yeah, you know what's so funny? Me and Andy kind of like started talking when he first started training you. Okay. So, like we're on like a whole same. We have the same anniversary, anniversary. <laughs> which is two different kinds of anniversaries. Okay. So um, hey, we want to know glute measurement uh, pre-show. It was 40.5 and then it got up to 40.75. I am too depressed to measure it. <laughs> we should measure. I haven't measured mine around for a long time. So when was the last time you measured? I want to say it was like almost, was it almost 40? I don't know. All right, so then here's what we're going to do. Leave your comments below as to what you think it is <laughs> for the next video. And then when we do another we should, video together, we we'll measure. We should do a glute day, measure before. And after. And then, yeah, and then train, and then after, and see how much we grow. OK, so <laughs> as of right now, I don't have anybody set for not this Friday, but the following Friday. So let's, we're going to set that up after we shut the camera off. There we OK, go. last one. You're looking, kill, you're looking killing my heart. Okay. You're looking, killing my heart. Okay. Thank you so that much. That was to you, not to me. Okay. All right. So that's really it. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, I'm curious, if you don't mind, and this is normally a question you don't really ask a woman, but how old are you? I am 33. Okay. And how old is Andy? He will be 34. Uh, On tomorrow. Valentine's Day? Tomorrow. Okay. Happy it's Valentine's Day. Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. And that's Valentine's Day, right? Happy Valentine's Day to everybody, but you guys are all going to watch this after Valentine's Day. Uh, leave your comments below if there's something that you want us to talk about specifically. Maybe you want us to do like a Hot Topics in the Tub, which I've done a lot of times. I do want Kelly to come over and do one. Um, I have a couple other dates with other people to do one. But in, maybe if we don't do a Q&A, we just do a specific topic. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you thought of this. Um, and then guess both of our booty measurements. Yeah. And then we'll do we'll, we'll do the measurement right. in the next video. Yep. Deuces. Bye. Okay. <laughs>